Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Air Tractor produces 4,000th Airplane. Also, CAF announces interactive theater honoring Tuskegee Airmen. And Lilium ramps up business profile, talks up Seven Seater. Happy Friday, everybody. You survived the work week. We have a great show for you ahead of the weekend. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Last week, an Air Tractor 502 XP, a single seat agricultural aircraft, was delivered to its new owner during a send off ceremony attended by employees and local dignitaries. It is the 4,000th airplane tractor has produced since it began operations in 1972. After 49 years of continuous production of airplanes, all of us here are really pleased to celebrate this moment, said Jim Hirsch, Air Tractor President. Only eight years ago, we built our 3,000th airplane. Now we just surpassed 4,000. This year, we find ourselves in the fortunate position to have historically strong demand for our aircraft. While we are subject to agricultural market ups and downs, our manufacturing continues year after year on a rising trend line. In this West Texas town of 3100, Air Tractor employs close to 300 skilled workers, engineers, and support personnel, many of whom are second or third generation employee owners. The airplanes they produce are the most popular of their kind in the world. The company was founded by Leland Snow, an agricultural pilot, aeronautical engineer, an entrepreneur. Before his passing in 2011, Snow established an employee stock ownership plan, providing employees 100% beneficial ownership and retirement benefits for their service to the company. After these messages, EAA is coming to Sun and Fun. More details and news after the break. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. So the annual Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo is right around the corner and aviators and EAA members are making plans for the journey down to the unofficial kickoff of the flying season. Sun and Fun takes place April 13th until the 18th at Lakeland Airport and will feature the U.S. Navy Blue Angels. If you plan to attend, don't forget that EAA members can save admission by using the discount code EAA902 while purchasing online or by showing an EAA member card at the admission gate. More useful loads results from R44 use of a really light battery. True Blue Power, the first company to receive FAA TSO certification for lithium-ion batteries, has announced the company's TB17 lithium-ion mainship battery is now a standard option on Robinson Helicopter Company's R44. Weighing only about 16 pounds, the TB17 gives R44 operators an additional 13 pounds of useful load compared to the helicopter's standard lead-acid battery. Matthew Tietzhorn earns USPA rating. Matthew Tietzhorn, an engineer and former Green Beret, made his first skydive, a gift from his parents, in Las Vegas at the age of 18. Fifteen years later, he went through the AFF program at Jumptown in Orange, Massachusetts, and has been jumping there ever since. On March 25th, 
Pitchhorn became the 40,000th USPA member to earn the D license, a little more than 52 years after Lou Sandborn earned D1 on March 1st, 1959. Learn to Fly Center comes to AirVenture 2021's Four Corners. EAA notes that, along with all the experienced aviators at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh each year, the world's greatest aviation celebration inspires many others who find themselves asking, I would love to learn to fly someday. What steps do I need to take to begin flight training? The Learn to Fly Center at Air Ventures EAA Four Corners area can provide the information they need and kickstart their flight training journey. The EAA Learn to Fly Center will feature multiple stations, each dedicated to helping individuals take a step forward in their desire to learn to fly. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. CAF announces interactive theater honoring Tuskegee Airmen. The CAF is nearing completion of a major education center at Dallas Executive Airport. The Henry B. Tippy National Aviation Center is a 47,000 square foot facility that comprises a science, technology, engineering, and math innovation hangar, workshops, classrooms, and a display atrium and gallery for a selection of the CAF's collection of World War II artifacts. This week, the CAF announced plans to incorporate the Brigadier General Charles McGee, shown and Don Hintz Theater as part of the Education Center. The theater is generously supported by the CAF Red Tail Sponsor Group, an affiliate of the CAF which is committed to educational outreach programs that use the inspirational story of the Tuskegee Airmen as a guide for strength and character and an inspiration to triumph over adversity. The theater will feature two compelling original short films. One tells the story of the Tuskegee Airmen. The other shares the story of the women Air Force Service pilots, America's first female military pilots. Both groups overcame obstacles to be able to serve their country during World War II. After these messages, Lilium ramps up business profile. Details after the break. I believe that if people use the landing doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. Lilium ramps up business profile, talks up seven-seater. Lilium has entered into business agreement with Kill Acquisition Corp. Upon closing of the transaction, the company will be called Lilium. In concert with the business news, Lilium is talking up their seven-seat Lilium jet program. The Lilium seven-seater jet has a projective cruise speed of 175 miles per hour at 10,000 feet and a range of 155 plus miles, including reserves. It is the culmination of five years of technology development across four generations of technology demonstrators, including Lilium's full-scale five-seater. Lilium applied for concurrent type certification for a high-capacity aircraft with EASA and the FAA in 2018. Development of the seven-seater Lilium jet began in stealth mode following this milestone. In 2020, the seven-seater Lilium jet received CRI A01 certification, basis from EASA. 
Lilium has developed, tested, and refined their ducted, electric, vectored thrust technology along with key control systems, aircraft, and battery architecture. DEVT technology reportedly enables Lilium to scale to higher capacity aircraft and keep noise emissions and ground footprint low. And that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kang. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.